I know. Ahead, uh, can you talk a little bit about what it's like to play those and um, how you, you and Rami work together so you seem more like so that your acting kind of comes across as being like a figment of his imagination in some way? Um, well, I mean, so much of it goes into well, certainly Sam's creativity, how he shoots it, um, Todd Campbell, our cinematographer. Uh, I mean, the way he shot that scene was, I thought, quite amazing. Um, you know, how the light was sort of streaming behind my head, and uh, there was certainly a, a, an angelic and devilish quality to, to that particular moment, I thought. Um, and when, I, when, I, when Sam told me that that was what was going to happen, when I read that in, in the first script of season two, I was like, oh my God, you know, this is, uh, this is nuts. Um, there's definitely a, a real power struggle going on between these two guys, and uh, I think the question at the end of the day might be, you know, who is going to be, who is Mr. Robot, really? I mean, I think it's still a little bit of a question, um, and you know, how much power, you know, could I actually have over this human life? There you go. When you when you play the character, like because we know that he is now um, part of Elliot, do you try and you know copy something that Tommy does, or do you try and hear him in any way? Well, I, I think I've always thought of it as um, I mean I'm an idealized projection of uh, what he imagined his father to be. You know, I mean he was a very young boy when he passed away, so he really looked up to his father, and um, I think. I mean, he's starting to take on a, a personality all of his own, um, but uh, I think, yeah, you know, he imagines him as, as uh, a sort of larger than life, very powerful, uh, very loving, and also at the same time, or other times, very scary personality to him. So um, uh, it's just a very, very powerful dynamic there, uh, and, and a very fascinating relationship for both Rami and, and myself to explore. Do you think Elliot's a character that could successfully go through kind of the self-medication process that he's uh, experiencing with Mr. Robot kind of in his head? I think he could, yeah. I mean, certainly that's a, a distinct possibility and, and uh, something that, that, that could happen where he could get on the right meds. Um, but, you know, I don't necessarily know that, uh, you know, Mr. Robot being gone equals Elliot being well. You know? I mean, there there may be a point and, and a reason, you know, and, and I'm, I'm just excited to be a part of the journey and discovery of, of what that is. What are some of the differences between getting into the character of Mr. Robot versus Slater and Archer? Huh. Uh, I love both of those things. Um, you know, I mean, coming back to doing season two and uh, opening up the dressing room door and, and seeing the outfit and you know the hat and the jacket I just felt so uh, at home again I was just so happy to, to get the opportunity to, to do that again all of those elements the, the preparation that Sam puts into the beginning and, and start you know like he had written all the scripts all the writers, of course, you know, he and all the writers have written all the script before we came back to do season two. So, so that just uh, is like a gift, you know, that to know all of that information going in is such, so helpful in raising the awareness of where you're going and what your motivations are, and all those aspects. Okay, moving on. Thank you so much.